There we go. What's up everybody? Thank you for joining me today. I'm really excited. I got some new MRP goodies on the bike like that chain guide bash guard right there. What I'm really excited about though is the MRP ribbon fork on the front of this bike right now. I bumped it up from 150 millimeters of travel stock to the 170 millimeter ribbon fork. Gonna rake it out a little bit for some downhill next year. Really excited. Just gonna ride today to test out the new parts and uh, not get too carried away. So I'm practicing new lines on the ribbon trail for the Grand Enduro next year. Uh, this is the local line, and uh, let's just see how this goes. Alright, here we go. <laughs> As you can see, it takes a bit of better braking power than what I'm currently able to provide. So this line probably isn't going to work. I'll make a couple more attempts, but as you'll see, uh, I'm going to find a new line. As a disclaimer, this uh, toilet bowl section, as it's dubbed, is steeper than it looks on camera. It is pretty hard to break down it. I do plan on bumping up to four piston brakes. Hopefully that'll help out. But it's a, it's a pretty tough section to navigate. So here I'm demonstrating the actual designated line. It's a little bit trickier than it may look on camera. You ride pretty much straight across this real steep slick rock right about. Huh. And uh, it's just a little bit slower, I think. And there is a third line option that I've seen so far that uh, my new friend here, Owen, is going to demonstrate for us. Maybe slightly quicker than the designated line, although it is a pretty rough one bouncing in through there. That felt really smooth. So the Ribbon Trail is known for being this big old slab of rock with steep chutes like this one. You can just bomb down it. I'm a little hesitant to bomb down it today as you can see with my brakes not being the greatest. You carry too much speed into the bottom it gets real hairy so take it a little bit easy today. On the hike out of the Ribbon Trail, you may find drops like this one, technically considered Andy's Loop. And if you're brave enough, you can send it. It's about eight feet. I'm going to start a new series on this channel called Beer of the Day or Brewery of the Day. So today, the first installment is going to be Odd 13 Brewing. This is the Noob Pale Ale. It's a hazy pale ale with mosaic and Eldorado hops. This is like a tropical flavor, a little bit fruity. Uh, like I said, hazy pale, so perfect beer to go with the views. Odd 13 is out of Lafayette, Colorado, over by Denver. And uh, they're a pretty small brewery. They have a lot of really good beers that I've had. They're a little pricier, but uh, really, really good brewery out of the Denver area. Give them a try. Look them up. And they have a local artist that does all of their graphics here. They have a, like a superhero for every beer they have. A made-up superhero for every type of beer. Like I said, this is the Noob. And, uh, yeah, pretty good. Check them out. And back to working on another new line. This is on Free Lunch Trail. I have not mastered this drop yet. So uh, Owen here showed me that it's really not that bad. I gave it a run up. Uh, yeah. Took me a little bit longer to commit to it, but new drops are kind of scary. So it ended up working out, as you'll see right now. Yeah. Yeah. Ah! 
<laughs> I'm good, I'm good. I make noises, don't worry about me. Tell you one thing, this fork feels a lot more in control on uh, the drops and such. Right. Yeah. So right about now is when I start to question Owen's sanity because as you can see, he's up here about to drop in. Yeah. Right about now, he's wishing he scrubbed a little more speed. Oh, you straight oh, sent that to flat. That was straight up fucking flat. Ouch. <laughs> well, that's going to be it for this one, guys. Thank y'all for watching. I'm going to keep making some videos. Feel free to subscribe, like, put some comments, some hate. I don't care. I'm just going to keep doing what I do and uh, see what happens. So, have a good one.